Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see a coding problem which is nothing but password generator. Observe the problem statement. You will be given a list of strings which is nothing but employee data in this format. Employee name, employee ID. Second employee name, second employee ID. Like that you will having n employees. Now for every employee you need to find the maximum digit present in the employee ID, which is less than or equal to the length of the employee name. Okay. Find the maximum digit, which is less than length of the employee name. Now, you need to find the character present at that digit and add that character to the password variable. If you won't find any character or the position, in that case, you need to add X to the password. Okay. By doing this three steps, you will end up with a password, right? Because here you're calculating the maximum digit and finding the character present at that digit. Or otherwise you will add X. Like that, for every name, you will get a character variable. Now by adding all those characters, you will get the final password and you need to print that password. Now let me show you the test cases here. Robert, right? What is the length of the name Robert? six the length of the name tina is four the length of the name joe is two now observe the digit which is a maximum and less than or equal to six is nothing but what six right here the position will be six similarly for tina the maximum digit in id which is less than or equal to four is nothing but what two for joe observe is five less than two six less than or equal to two three less than or equal to two 8 less than or equal to 2, 9 less than or equal to, no. You won't find any digit which is less than or equal to length of the name. So write as X. Now observe what will be the password. First, get the character present at sixth position, T. Get the character present at second position, I. And here you won't find any character, write capital X. Now it will be our output. In this way, you need to trace the test case. Now, let me show you how to do this. Observe the test case. The first one is a Robert, right? The first one is a Robert and his ID is 36787. Now, observe how to do that. What is the length of the name Robert? 6. Let me write the positions here. 5 and 6. Now, in this ID, first you extract the digits. 3, 6, seven eight seven represent as a list okay now sort the list in descending order you will get eight seven seven six and three now for every digit check whether the digit is less than or equal to length or not eight less than or equal to six no is seven less than or equal to six no now seven less than or equal to six no six less than or equal to six yes in that case stop the process here and get the character present at sixth position, which is nothing but a T. Like that, you need to do the process for every name present in the employee data. Now, let me show you how to do this. Let me show you how to code for this problem. First, we need to take string, right, which containing all the employee data. Now, let me write it here. S equal to input of enter employee data. Now observe, I need to split the data into individual employees, right? Individual equal to s dot split of comma. Now, this is a list holding individual data, like the first employee name and ID and at index one, what you will have the second employee name and second employee ID like that. Now check here for person, for every person in the individual list, a person will have what two things, the name and its ID, right? Name, let me split it here. Details equal to person, right? Person dot split of colon, which means the details will hold two variables, two values, the name and the ID. 
so the name equal to details of zero whereas the id value equal to details of one right now as i said you earlier i need to extract the digits present in that id so i will write here set which means i will get all the unique digits present in the id now i will make it as a list so that we can sort it very easily now observe i will sort here id value equal to sorted of id val if you wrote up to this you will get ascending order sorted list of digits right but i need to get descending order right for that i need to reverse the ascending order sorted list this will do the reverse operation so this holds the digits sorted in the reverse order okay now observe what i need to do for every digit present in the id i need to check if int of the digit is less than or equal to length of the name if it is less than the name what i should do i need to add the character present at position right for that let me take here temp temp equal to empty now and observe temp equal to the name of int of digit int of digit minus 1 which means get the character present at that position okay now observe a scenario and i will break here because you get the character right so no need to check the remaining digits now observe if you face a case like you traverse the entire digits but you won't find any digit less than or equal to name in that case you need to write if length of temp equal to 0 which means you won't find any character or digit in that case you need to make the temp as capital x now finally what we need to do password plus equal to t right you need to add password plus equal to temp add the temp variable to password let me take the password variable as empty string here now finally we need to print the password observe here by repeating over this loop for every person you are checking the digit present in its id and if the di digit is less than or equal to length of the name then i will get the character if it is not the case in that case i will add x by repeating over this we, we can generate a string password and i am finally printing the password let me save and run this here now let me get the inputs this is the input right let me copy and paste it here okay there is a error we got id v yes observe here here we need to write individual right i n d v because the variable is i n d v right let me save and uh, run it again let me give the same data here same data now observe the password right in this way you need to code for this problem and do practice this type of problems thanks for watching please do like and subscribe